Well, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. Late morning as usual here for our midweek uh, videos because I had to go into work this morning. But kind of a windy overcast and a very, very wet West Tennessee. See, if you watched our last video, as you should have, what kind of hillside there where we sowed that grass and put down fertilizer washing. I think we've had over three inches of rain. But that was on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, three inches and counting. More expected later today. But anyway, got a bunch of stuff to get done here. Oh, might as well say this afternoon now, as usual. But, you know, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. Most of you hopefully have already subscribed, but if it's your first time watching, please subscribe. As always, everybody, give it a thumbs up. That helps us. I don't begin to understand how algorithms and with YouTube and whatnot and all that work, but apparently it helps. So thank you for liking the video, but let's get to it. So I swung in here, my dad, my uncle's place. I'm gonna borrow the trailer. Actually, we're headed, oh, about a hour and a half or so drive away. See if we can buy some hay equipment, actually. Um, I think I got a deal in place. The guy's kind of verbally over the phone. Trying to rain again. Nearly got stuck getting in here. It has just rained so much. The four wheel drive didn't want to engage. And then right about the time after I'd gotten through the muddy spot, I felt it catch. So old, worn out equipment, including the old farm truck, giving us a little bit of fits. But uh, thankfully, I didn't. Yeah, it didn't rub anything up too bad. But. Yeah, full drive just did not work. We'll get pulled up here and unlock the hubs, but yeah, main objective, if we can get a disc mower, um, they've got several, they got some new ones, they got some that they call demos. It sounded like the dealer himself ran, you know, a couple of them last year and they're going to sell those. That's probably more in our budget. If they're that new, they're not gonna be heard by any means. Uh, I'd like to get a hay rake too, but I don't know that we'll get that done, but we'll go see. Sadie and I finally made it back. See, we did get our disc mower. So glad to get that home. Um, now we can cut hay. That's really about all we can do is just cut it. Um, as you may be able to tell, I'm hats wet. It, it poured down rain right as we were getting it loaded. So um, otherwise it was, it was a good easy trip um gosh nearly a two-hour drive though same reason you know we don't we just don't have many cattle in this part of the state and so a lot of you know the equipment dealers and stuff that handle hay equipment you know and whatnot that tailors more to livestock folks we don't have a lot of those right around here but anyway got a mower um now i don't know we may need to be in the market for a baler who knows hay rake those sorts of things but it's getting late in the day now. We can go the side by side and go um, check on the cows. Super windy. It's cooled off. Um, feels nice, you know, for it to be May the 25th. We uh, say it rained a bunch since we planted that. We'll actually stop and see how much it rained today since we've been gone. But it's cooled off a good bit since then, so that's been kind of nice. And the cows look to be in pretty good shape. We'll ride around and check on everybody. Yeah, one laying down up in there kind of all by herself. I don't know. She seems to be fine. She's kind of an odd spot to be laying there all by herself. But Sadie enjoying herself after spending about oh, four and a half hours or so on the truck between drive time and she didn't get to get out while we were doing the deal and, and getting it. But I'm sure we see all the bulls too. There's two, one with lumpy jaw. There's three. I don't know where our fourth one is, but some up there on top of the hill, maybe him. But things doing good there. They all came running when they saw me. I imagine they're wanting to rotate pastures again. They're never satisfied. Um, which I had to tell them there wasn't just an enormous amount of grass in here yet, but we had, what about? 10 or 12 of them that kept jumping in here and just so i'm letting them see for themselves they've only been in here 
remember what day that was I moved them in here. Saturday or Sunday, whatever. I think it was Saturday. I can't remember. But my um, mindset all along was to keep them in here a week, which we, we have five different pastures up here between what we're renting and then our place. So that's a pretty good plan. If we can keep them in one pasture for a week, rotating, you know, have, I guess it'd be four weeks before they come back. Um, that's a pretty good interval allow these forages to recover but yeah with the, the warmer weather we've had the bermuda's been starting to come on um like i said a little cold spell for the last few days but yeah there's the other bull he's up there but we'll ride around check him a little closer and i've got a few other things to do how y'all doing so one of these herford girls here i think it was the first one there it doesn't have a tag Need to get one put back in her ear. Seemed to be in heat. It's 3175. Those are bought those two at the same time. Hard to tell apart, but yeah, she's one that's attacked. So process of elimination. I know which one she is. But we're gonna have to beat them back to the gate. They're gonna be trying to get out of here. The next pasture over with the horses. Really doesn't have that much grazing. One, because the horses have been in there, and two, that was where they spent all winter. So it uh, it was basically completely bare of any forage until we got them out of there. We get off there to shut the gate, check the mineral feeder, and uh, yeah, we're pretty much empty, not completely, but for practical purposes, they're out of mineral. So it's a muddy mess. I'm not going to drive back down here put a bag in there today like a metal note we'll go ahead and throw a bag in there when we get back up to the shed wait tomorrow there'll be one already loaded up that we can throw in there out here where we had of course broadcast all that seed in the last video see if we can tell anywhere where it's trying to come up you see it is washing yeah certainly more than we would like um we knew that was going to be kind of our reality with uh with the rains we had been getting and, and gotten but I have not checked to see how much rain we got today, but at three inches before today, um, just since Saturday, but oh yeah, you may be able to see. Got some, got some little, like little hairs coming up. There's some of Sudex. It does not look like it has done much yet. Um, oh yeah, right there. I have the tip of my finger that uh teff is very very fine and who knows that i can't swear that that's the teff coming up i think it is really any vegetation you get on these these hillsides to hold this ground together keep it from washing will be relatively welcomed um that's just probably some crabgrass or something coming up but yeah we'll keep a watch we'll see if the sudex comes up at all um there's definitely enough moisture it should um that seed was just kind of going to waste if we didn't use it anyway so but i'd like to see it kind of pop on up there for us yeah you can see you gotta look really close but you'll see spots where it looks like that teff is coming up so obviously be something we can keep an eye on monitor moving forward over these next several weeks the horse is acting curious you can see down here in the bottom where well that that is washing and silting in down here kind of making a mess but it's kind of the way it is it's like how much there another eight tenths so it's gonna put us really pretty close to four inches since saturday today being wednesday because i think we had 2.6 then 0.5 and another eight tenths and i mean there's still chances of rain today i think tomorrow yeah we're at like 3.94 inches somewhere in there since saturday night um, with again more in the forecast so yeah the old, the old hay mower is not going to get used in these next few days anyway which again we don't have a hay baler even like literally our hay equipment is a mower right now we do have a tractor to put it on that's the extent of our hay operation right now. Have a hay spear on the 
tractor obviously we use to feed so we can move the hay if we ever have any fail theoretically yeah we'll go ahead and grab the bag of mineral throw it in there because undoubtedly tomorrow although you'd think i'm parked right next to the pallet full of mineral i'd see that and be reminded oh yeah grab a bag of mineral before we go to pasture but good chance i would have forgotten so it's in there now we'll get it put in that feeder see yeah they're all there at the bottom of the hill which one nice thing about that feeder being right there it's in kind of that common area they can use it when they're obviously where they are now whenever they're in this pasture here where the horses are or when they're out there in part of the creek bottom um and we can open up one of the gates and you know depending on which one they're in and they can use that feeder we don't have to constantly move it every time we rotate pastures and we get to say good morning one more time in this video it's now thursday thunderstorm again overnight looks like we got there another eight tenths so i think we were officially caught at 3.9 inches since the weekend so what was that doing math on on camera so we're at what 4.7 now Whew. over four and a half inches since saturday night it's now thursday morning so yeah water standing pretty much everywhere right now but getting a little bit of a late start this morning we just recorded the podcast um, like we typically do on Thursdays. So, you know, hurry up and get these animals fed so I can get to work. We've got a couple of feed sacks loaded up there. Got a couple on the back hatch. We're gonna head up the road, check on the stocker steers. Like I mentioned, getting a little later start today because we recorded the podcast this morning. I know, uh, know a bunch of our YouTube viewers have been listening to the podcast because you commented asked questions and whatnot we love that we're always looking for different topics to discuss there so if you do have a question about something we're doing in these videos or maybe just about ag in general whatever leave a comment uh, we're always looking for for again different topics different content to discuss there some things it's a little easier to discuss in that format than maybe on a video like this but yeah, we record every Thursday morning, so we got that done. Uh, it's a little after six now. I'm gonna have to hurry. I gotta get back home, get showered, and then get to the office this morning. But yeah, got things loaded up. We'll see how much it rained down there. Probably about the same if I was guessing. It's not that far away, but you never know. Sometimes it'll it'll rain. Well, we have, say eight tenths here. It may, we may only got half that up the road. Or it may rain an inch and a half. Who knows? Sun's starting to peek over the trees there. Got a few of these boys right up here at the gate. Which means I'm going to have to shut the gate after I pull through. What a muddy, muddy mess. See if we can get a head count. Some of them are up there. This other little pasture. They're not smart enough to know where the gate is. Smart enough to get in there, not smart enough to get out whenever I get here with feed. Oh man. See if we can get a count. 49 head right there at the bunks. 57 over on this side of the farm, so it means we got eight more. We have not seen, well, there's at least a few up here. Walk up here and see. Yeah, I could cut a hole in the fence like right here. But I just don't want to. Because the gate is way back up there. They got to come out of it and then come down. And they just, whenever they do graze up here, it never never fails whenever I come. I show up here in the morning, they uh, get some of them that are just confused by the whole thing. I said there were some up here. I know they were because I heard them. Oh, I just ripped my pants. Yeah, there's a couple over here in the corner. It's not going to be eight of them, though. 
Slide. One, two, three, four. Just four of them? Yeah. So four, so we're still four short. Um, probably not gonna have time to go on an expedition looking for them this morning. Um, been three and four short a lot of days, which does kind of concern me. Um, you wonder if those are the same ones. Are they sick? Something wrong with them? Do they get out? I feel pretty confident they have not gotten out. Shouldn't say that. I'm probably jinx myself, but uh, there's not houses and neighbors and whatnot around. We had several out. Somebody would have seen them. I made a phone call by now. But, yeah, good grass. Do need to get in here and clip still. But no, I'll keep saying that. It's on the to-do list. We got a lot of stuff on the to-do list. And of course, again, as muddy and nasty as it is right now, they're not gonna be doing anything like that for several days. But we gotta head to the other end of the farm. So if we at least put eyes on those other eight. No, it's 6.30 now. We gotta roll. Yeah. Muddy mess, muddy mess. Uh, rain gauge on the other end of this farm will see, but I bet we probably got three quarters to an inch of rain just like we did at the house. Looks like we actually probably got a little more rain here. 1.4. So, yeah. We are wet, wet, wet. Beautiful sunrise there coming over the clouds. And there's four calves here, so we're gonna be four short on this end of the farm too. So maybe we can call those other four up. Well, I don't see the other four yet. Come on, boys! Come on! Woo! Of course, this group, this we've had them a week and a half or so now. They're not completely up on the routine. Let's see, we do have a bad eye in the bunch too. I don't have any antibiotics with me. I'll come back either later on today or bring some with me tomorrow morning. He cooperates, we can run into that chute real quick. But um, that one right there, actually, I ah, doesn't look as bad as I thought it did a minute ago. Number, number four, this left eye here. Yeah, needs to be treated. But, we'll get this feed put out. We got one of them wants to act like a moron and not come in here. But check the water trough. I haven't actually had it turned on with just these eight head. And of course, when it, when it rains an inch a day, it doesn't have a chance to get very low. And two, with it raining that much, what the heck you see a little bonk there, like water there. There's water everywhere right now. I wish I could see those other four steers. Not the end of the world but just makes it a little easier to kind of be confident that everything's good when you see them all every day. It's just not always our reality. But um, yeah, it's quarter to seven now. I've got to hustle home, grab a shower. Probably not gonna get much of a breakfast today, get to work, but may kind of wrap it up for this one. Um, it's just raining. We hadn't been able to get a lot done. Going to get that disc mower was big. We got to locate a hay baler now. I was uh, just looking at the forecast. It looks like the rain may be gone. After again, about five inches over the last four to five days, the like 10 day shows, I don't know, like a 20% chance, like a week from now which I feel like they do that just because they don't even know that far out. They'll, they'll put a little percentage on it. But maybe, just maybe by the end of this weekend, if we can get some hay cut. So hopefully that's what you're going to be seeing in the next video. Um, if not, we just got to be clipping some pasture, which it's, it's dry enough to do one. It's probably dry enough to do the other. Of course, the key with cutting hay, it's got to not only be dry then, but give us several more days of dry weather. Um, 
you know, so we can get it actually bailed. But anyway, <clears throat> appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you listening to the Talk Dark to Me podcast again. Um, our latest episode of that will drop before this video even does, but check it out. Um, had a pretty interesting conversation this morning, I think. I believe it'll be episode 35. Not sure what title he'll put on it, but uh, the May 26th, episode 35. But anyway, thank you. Thank y'all for helping us grow the channel. We've really, over the last four or five months, really grown quite a bit. Hope to see that continue, get a bigger audience, maybe do some even cooler stuff. But we remind y'all, as always, eat beef and God bless.